my friends thank you so much for joining me today I've got three styles that are very similar and I wanted to bring them to you I am NOT uh, talking about the colors in this video I have reviews on all three wigs that I'm going to share with you and I and I did the colors and the outside and all of that in those videos this video is just to compare them because the styles are very similar it's just a minimal difference in the length and in the prices. So I'm going to share all of that with you. The one that I'm wearing is Santa Monica. This one is from the City Collection and it was provided to me from Shirley's Wig Shop. The other two I purchased quite a while ago. I'm going to start out with Santa Monica. Santa Monica is brand new to Beltress's City Collection. We have minimal permatees at the, at the nape area and we have absolutely no permatees on top. This is a very light density piece. The sides on Santa Monica are six to eight, six to 10 inches. So we have layers here. The nape is two and a half to three inches and the overall is 11 inches. The cap construction on all of the styles from the City Collection have an extended lace front, a left mono part, felt covered ear tabs, an extended nape, and new to bell tress, the Velcro adjusters. These caps from the City Collection are very, very stretchy. And for, I don't want to forget to tell you this, for those of you that asked me how I kept the fibers of my face, this is what I use. It's from Tress Allure, the wig wax. Granted, it's not a, a permanent fix. You have to use it probably every time or every other time you apply the wig. But as you can see, the hair just stays off my face. Right now, what we have as far as the difference between Santa Monica and Cafe Chic, the first thing is the lace front. On Santa Monica, we have an extended lace front, and on Cafe Chic, we have a temple to temple. Both have a left mono part. Both have felt covered ear tabs. Cafe Chic does not have an extended nape, while Santa Monica does. And we have pull type adjusters on, on Cafe Chic while we have the Velcro adjusters on Santa Monica. And here is Cafe Chic. Cafe Chic is from the Cafe Collection from Belle Tress. Mine is in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Cafe Chic has a bang of eight inches and we have sides of nine inches. So, so far we don't have as many layers on Cafe Chic as we found on Santa Monica. The nape are going to be very similar. The nape on Cafe Chic is three and a half inches and our overall is three and a half to 10 inches. And that is because we have more layers. But as far as the overall length, then Santa Monica is only about an inch longer at, 10, at 11 inches while Cafe Chic has uh, 10 inches. I have not steamed Cafe Chic. It's a, this one is about two years old. I love these short, choppy type styles and I haven't done anything to it. I wash it, I apply a little bit of heat at the end, but because of the length, it doesn't rub against my clothes, so I haven't had any problems. I think it's held up beautifully. Two years or three years, I don't know. I, I purchased it as soon as it was released. As far as comparing the permatease and the density, the density is going to be the same between Santa Monica and Cafe Chic, and neither one has any permatease at all. A little bit at the nape. It probably, Cafe Chic perhaps has a little bit more permatease at the nape than what we find on Santa Monica. Let's take a look at the cap for Leah 2. Leah 2, like Santa Monica, also has an extended lace front, a left mono part, felt covered ear tabs, 
And just like we find on Santa Monica, we have an extended nape and we have Velcro adjusters. And here's my Leah 2. Mine is in the color Candy Blonde Rooted. Leah 2 is from Ellen Villa. Leah 2 has a front of nine and a quarter inches. So as far as the front is concerned, we don't have any, we really don't have any layers to speak of as we find on Santa Monica or on Cafe Chic. The sides are going to be, what are the sides? The sides are eight and a half. So once again, we don't have all of those layers that we found on Santa Monica. As far as the fit is concerned, the one that I feel that has the most stretch to it, the one that seems to fit on the larger end of average is Santa Monica, the, the new one from Beltress. I think that uh, Leah 2 runs a true average. While I did have to cinch it in to accommodate my uh, 21 and a half inch circumference, I didn't have to cinch it in as much as I do with the Beltress. But once again, we have very, very similar styles. As far as the measurements are concerned, the longest one overall is Santa Monica. Not by much, but it is a little bit longer. The shortest one overall is Leah 2. And the ones with the most layers are going to be Santa Monica and Cafe Chic. Those, as far as pricing is concerned, Cafe Chic is going to be the one with the lowest price point. Leah 2 is the one with the highest price point, almost $100 more. It's, it's just the way it is with Ellen Villa Styles. However, I do want to mention this because I have never, I, I have, I've, I don't think I've ever mentioned this in any of my videos. Shirley's, Shirley's Wig Shop will do price matching. They, uh, she will match online prices, including sales, online sales. So if you see, for example, Leah 2 on sale on another online retailer, the, and it's a lower price than what she offers, she will match it. They have to be shown on authorized U.S. authorized U.S. online retailers, and they have to be new products. And they cannot on those that are on clearance or open box. But if you want more information, it's all on her website all the way down to the bottom, or you can reach out to customer service at shirleyswigshop.com. I think this is this style is so cute well it's one of my favorites and that's why I have these three I did go through my wig closet I didn't find anything else that I had similar to these all three are heat friendly fibers via two is also heat friendly as we find on 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 cafe chic and on Santa Monica the we have a little bit more permatease on Leah 2 that we don't find on Cafe Chic or Santa Monica. We have a little bit of permatease, minimal, but it's there, right to, to the right of the left part. And we have a little bit of permatease at the nape, but the density is going to be almost exactly the same as we find on Santa Monica and on Cafe Chic. I think that the way to choose uh, one of these is, well, of course, the price is going to have a lot to do with it. So if you really like the style and Leah 2 is just out of your budget, then perhaps taking a look at Cafe Chic may be something for you to consider. The other thing to look at is the colors. If, oh, okay, if you decide, all right, any one of these are in my budget. Well, the next thing to consider are the colors. The colors that we find on the city collection are not available on the cafe collection and vice versa. And uh, Ellen Villa has 
her unique colors. So those are things to consider. The fit, obviously it's something to consider. If you have an average size, then all three will fit you. If you need something a little bit larger than average, then, and, and the budget, any of one of them are in your budget, then Santa Monica, even though the price point on Santa Monica falls right in the middle. All right. I hope this video was helpful and informative. If you were trying to choose a style between these, if you like these short choppy styles, let me know what you think. And if you have a favorite or if you have any of these, I'd love to hear from you. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.